We're outside the Basilica of the Annunciation here in Nazareth. The Basilica believed to be built over the house where Mary lived and where the angel Gabriel appeared to her. It's here that we're going to consider the most amazing biblical story in all of salvation history, perhaps. And that's the account of the angel Gabriel's announcement to Mary that she will become the mother of the Son of God. standing inside some of the walls believed to be the very walls of the house of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it was right here, picture the scene, that the angel Gabriel came to announce to Mary that she would become the mother of the Messiah. It's here that we're now going to consider those opening words of Gabriel to Mary in Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 28. Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. First of all, let's consider Gabriel's first word, hail. That's how we commonly translate it in English, but it could also be translated rejoice. And it's a word used a number of times in the Old Testament prophets to call God's faithful people of Israel to rejoice over the coming of the great king. God promised that the king would come, the Lord himself, to restore Israel, restore the kingdom, and the prophets call the people to rejoice. We see that, for example, in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9, and Zephaniah chapter 3, where the people are called to rejoice for God the King is coming to save them. So the second expression, full of grace, also is rich in meaning. This expression denotes Mary receiving a great gift of grace of God in her life. And the kind of grace that Mary receives is the grace that brings about redemption and the work of salvation. We see a similar word used in Paul's letter to the Ephesians in chapter one, verses six through eight, where there, God's grace is described as transforming the soul, bringing about redemption and the forgiveness of sins. So when the angel says, hail, full of grace, he's announcing to Mary that she has this life of grace within her. And what else is interesting about this particular Greek word for full of grace is that it describes an action that began in the past and continues into the present. So Mary is hearing that she already has this life of grace within her, even before the angel Gabriel appeared to her. And another thing that many scholars note is that this word full of grace is given to Mary as, as like a new name, like a title. Notice that the angel doesn't say, Hail Mary, but addresses Mary with this title, full of grace. And as John Paul II pointed out, this title expresses something profound about her soul. Her soul is full of grace. 